What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through Route 8, caught a few Pokemon, especially in Shield, and now it is time for us to continue on right here. Now, this will actually lead us to Sir Chester and Sir Chester Stadium. Uh, probably, yeah, Route is the street, the Steam Drift way right here. Now, I probably should have kept this with the last episode, but you know what? It is what it is. We're entering Sir Chester right here. Do not want to battle any one of these guys right here. But the only battle that we're going to be getting for right now is battling the police officer. So, let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. I'm assuming he might have a ghost type or, uh, I mean, a, an ice type Pokemon right here. So, let's go ahead and battle this homie right here. Gym Challenger, if that's, if it's alright, I will be your training partner. Yes, it is. I mean, he wasn't really pushing it just like uh, a, a few people here, you know. Hop and all that stuff. But here he comes out with an Arcanine. This is awesome right here, guys. Holy crud. Okay, so it's hailing. We're both going to get hurt. And, well, let's see. I think it's time for us to switch out our Pokemon right here. So let's... Oh crud! Okay, I, I pressed the I pressed the I pressed the bl the B button right here, stubby fingers and all that stuff. So here we go, Beckonator, come back and let's go with Michelangelo right here. Alrighty. So he's throwing out a Thunder Fang. Kind of knew what I was going for, and luckily for us, we do not get uh, paralyzed or anything like that. So let's go right ahead and do some waterfall attack. Let's do some damage right here. There we go, Waterfall, and there goes Arcanine. Such a majestic Pokemon. Too bad it's just a Fire-type Pokemon. And, well, there we go. We get buffed by the Hail. And I think, yes, he's going to be coming out with one more Pokemon right here, Bolton. So let's go ahead and, uh, well, let's go to Optimus Prime right here. Let's finish this guy. Optimus Prime. Rebel, or uh, uh, just make himself just stronger. Here we go, Bolton. And remember, I do have bo Big Booty Balto with me. I could be bringing him back at some point in time. I don't know. But here comes a Crunch Attack. Not so effective. Optimus Prime here. Going to do some uh, damage with this. Yes. And uh, there we go. No more Bolton. I am happy. So happy. And yes, we get more experience points. Bobby has been defeated, and yes, he's wishing us luck. Okay, so he was a good training partner. Yeah, he knows when to not push the button and all that stuff. Okay, so here we are, guys, Sir Chester, and well, look at that. It's looking all majestic. All awesome and all that stuff. Holy crud. And would you look at that? The gym is here. Now, in Pokemon Shield, you'll be seeing a different kind of gym. And I will be doing the same thing as I did a few episodes back where I will be featuring both gyms. So here we are in Sir Chester. You're looking at some pretty interesting Pokemon. And believe it or not, this is a Darumaka, a Galarian Darumaka. Welcome to the town of Snow. You already know the name of this town, right? Yes, I do. So first is first. Let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon because, uh, yeah, we kind of need to. And, well, we're automatically saving our thing. Let's go ahead, heal our Pokemon, and just explore Sir Chester right here. Again, this episode is just going to be an, an episode of Sir Chester. Nothing else, guys. Okay, alrighty. Sir Chester, looking like a, a proper town and all that stuff. Let's go right ahead and... Uh, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and, and visit some houses. Uh, do some things right here. Let's see. What does this say? Welcome to the town of Sir Chester. Buildings from an age long gone still stand about in steaming hot spring that covers the town. So I initially thought that was fog, but no, those are the steam, the steams of everything right here. And, well, my Clubopus just spent a good chunk of time in the hot spring. Its body's toasty warm now. Yeah. Now, we're going to be visiting some, some houses here and there just to get some items. There could be some items. Let's see if this lady actually has something. The way their flames wave is so strange. Watching it makes me feel so calm. Just talking about the Litwick right there. Okay, that's cool. No items right there. Let's go right ahead and uh, I think we... Oh yeah, this is another This is another one right here. So I think this is the place where you can actually get some items. This is my favorite TM. Do you want to use it on your Pokemon? 
And here we have Icy Wind. Now, if you're playing Pokemon Shield, you'll get the TM48 Rock Tomb. And, well, let's see. Of course, Icy Wind gets a pretty good one. And, uh, let's see. Not part of the completed game challenge back in the day. Okay. So, like I said, guys, uh, you know, if you're playing Shield, you'll actually get uh, TM48 Rock Tomb, which I'll eventually show. And, well, let's see. We're going to be going into this house, seeing what we can actually find right here. And, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy. I wanted to have a fringe blown to the, sand, the, the side in a hair saloon, too. I don't know what that means, but okay. Yeah, I'm nodding in agreement and all that stuff. And here we have a Bob's Your Uncle. And what happens if we go in here? Probably going to be battling somebody. Nope. Just a few people talking and everything. And... Let's see. Hello, welcome to the Bob's Your Uncle. You're not leaving here without enjoying a delicious meal first. Uh, you want to see? Now, I... Yeah, you're not going to really find anything right here in the Bob's Your Uncle. But we can actually move on right here and find some more items. Now, Sir Chester has two different kinds of gems. A ground type and an ice type gem. Uh, it all depends on what Pokemon version you're playing. Right now, you can't go into the gym because, well, uh, you have to actually go somewhere first in order to get that gym opened. And, well, let's see. Talk to this. The species that you recommended in your Pokedex will be updated once you manage to catch them all or date changes. Okay, yeah. That is another thing, too, that you can actually, uh, you can actually do. Now, here's another cool part about Sir Chester is that you can actually find a boutique right here. Certainly something that you probably need if you guys want to change it up. There is a hair, a hair salon right here. And, well, before we go into the into the, 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 the springs right here, we're actually going to go right here because there is somebody here that will give us another item. And I believe it's right here. Yes. Not items, but this guy is... Well, he's going to be talking to you. He's like, I'd really fancy catching a vanillish, but catching Pokemon is a young person's game by gum. I sure would uh, be glad to glad if someone would trade me a vanillish for my throw. I already have a throw, and yes, I do not have the Pokemon. So eventually, I'll just trade them and you know, find, and, and 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 help the guy out right here. So now the next place to actually visit is right here. Do not know what it's called. It's a well, it's a hotel right here. Right here, you'll be able to find three things. So let's go right ahead and just uh, well. Let's go right ahead and, f and, f and find that person. So let's see. You're welcome to stay either building at either building of the Hotel Iona. Okay. Let's see. I'm waiting for someone. My Noiba is using its ultrasonic waves to help me look. That is cool. That is awesome. I would like to use a new Noiba someday. And let's see. Hotels are the best. No need to worry about cleaning or laundry or anything. That is true. And then we've got tickets for the very front uh, front row seats in the stadium. Sometimes moves can come flying our way, but it's wicked exciting. That is true. All right. So it looks like we're going to have to go upstairs and all that crud. And let's see. I do believe that you're going to be finding something in here worth, uh, worth of value and all that stuff. And, well, if you talk to this guy, the sounds of scratching glass or screeching noises feel like they stuck the energy energy right out of you, don't they? Take this TM. It can cause some kind of effect. And here we have the TM-16 Screech, which is a very, very good move to actually lower your Pokemon's uh, defense. And, well, that is that for him. Let us continue on right here and see what else uh, door number two has to, to, to offer. And let's see. Tears are powerful. When I see them, I let my guard down without even noticing it. Do you want to use this as a TM that it takes advantage of this power? Yes. We get ourselves the TM-47, which is, of course, fake tears. Another great move. Lowers your special defense and all that stuff. And let's see. What does uh, Homeboy has to say right here? I'll become the champion using an all Pikachu team. That is impossible. You're going to have to have like some super buffed up Pikachus in order to do that. So let's go ahead and move on to the next few doors right here. Of course, I'm hitting some pillars and all that crud. And let's see. I've been waiting for my life, for my wife. Well, actually, my wife's been wait, waiting, making me wait. But being blunt with someone isn't always the right thing to do. Yeah. Many of you guys already probably noticed this, but I'm a very, very blunt person. And hold on. So, that means the culprit must be among us. Hmm. 
Wait, who are you? After all the trouble to do some things, uh, don't go messing it up now. Mm, okay, so I'm gonna be nosy and all that crud. Talk to him. <laughs> I suppose I'd introduce myself. My name is Housey, or Houses? Yes, that Houses, the great detective. I've been hired by the hotel. At, pr at present, I have uh, cornered a, the culprit of a, a most heinous crime. And that crime is... The strange case of who ate the large quantity of berries in the lobby. I've gathered the three. Uh, I've gathered the three who were present at the lobby at the time of the crime, but because of the noise and my marvelous deductive reason, it seems to somewhat muddled at present. Oh damn. Okay, that's it. You interfering child, you will be my assistant. Listen to the stories of each suspect and find the culprit. Mm, okay, so talk to this guy. Where did my Pokemon go off to? Huh? Berries? I didn't eat them. Hey! You haven't seen my Pokemon around here, have you? Well, he's already given me the answer. Right? Seems like trouble, doesn't he? I will admit that I saw a blue mountain of berries, but my doctor told me to stop eating those things. I've got it in writing here. Okay. And her. Looks like you were unlucky enough to get caught up in this, too. It was a huge pile of berries in the lobby, right? There's no way I could have eaten that many. I've been saying this the whole time. And after talking to her, this guy comes out. Choo! Ah, my Pokemon! Where were you? Hmm. Talk to this Pokemon right here. Okay, hold on. And if you talk to this Pokemon, he's like, Munch! It sure has a lot of berry juice in its mouth. <laughs> after listening to everyone's accounts, I have deduced the culprit. Dancer, you are the culprit! What? Why me? Because you're a dancer. You move and shake your body so much that you needed all that dancer. You move and shake your body so much that you needed all that food for extra energy. That's evidence as clear as sharp as a leak of a far-fetched. What? What does that even mean? You're no detective, you're a fraud. <laughs> Who are you calling a fraud? You can't be referring to me, the great detective. I can't deal with this disrespect. I leave it to you. You find the culprit. <sighs> uh, it's right here. Crumpsh! Could this be the culprit? Yes! And, well, I'm looking at him and he's like, What? That Squovit is the one responsible? Munch! Ah, it's true! It's got a berry bits around its mouth. Yes, it's def it definitely ate berries, definitely. Oh, you're right. I can. I see it now that I look more closely. Muncha. And well, as as expected, my assistant here recompense for solving this uh, mystery. Take it. And here we have the wide lens, which is another great you know item to you know to actually have. And well, splendid, just splendid. I'm overjoyed. I must be off now. Take care, everyone. Hey, you! Wait a minute. <laughs> I guess I'm supposed to chase after him, too. Okay, and well, here we have our good old Muncha. Look at that. He's so happy about that. And well, talk to this kid. Thanks for solving the case. Scoby is saying you did good. You did good, too. Okay, so that is that. And I think we need to go right here. I don't know where they went, but let's see what goes on right here. Shubis is so helpful. It eats rubbish instead of taking tips. It does, it really does. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it right there. And well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and find these people. I'm pretty sure that they could not they, they can lead us to somewhere, but like I was saying guys, Homeboy was talking about being blunt, yes. Many of you guys already know that I can be blunt sometimes with the comments or with just what I'm doing right here. Not to be rude or anything, but that's just the way I am, you know. Sometimes you gotta be blunt in order to get to places and all that crud. So, yeah, let's go right ahead and move on right here. And, well, let's see. There is still something that we need to do. I can't just point my finger on it. Let's see, north, east, south, west. Okay, so here we are in the western side of the building. And now, let's see. Oh, wow, here we have a, uh, well, one of the... 
Kanto Pokemon or Kalos Pokemon, Whimsiscott. And, well, let's see. Talk to this guy. Do you think you should head to Winden soon? I'd like to get some sightseeing in, uh, along with catching Champion Cup. Okay, and, well, I'd like to go someplace where I can meet cute ice type Pokemon. Well, I'm pretty sure you're close by. And, well, let's see. What does this guy have to say? The buildings in the Surchester are built to use designs to go back a long time. You can feel the weight of history from them. This is so true. Okay, so, let's see, what else can we find around here? I think we can find one more thing. And, of course, there's going to be a lot more doors around this whole area right here. So, if you talk to these guys, what do they say? Only after you master basic moves, you can engage in more advanced moves. And that's what I learned from karate. That is true. I heard some wild Pokemon soak in hot springs to heal their injured bodies. Well, that... That right there is a clue to go to the springs eventually. And, well, let's see. We're going to be going this way right here. Oh, hold on. There's just a lady. Ever since I was a kid, the hallways of the hotels have always made me feel like I've gotten lost somewhere. Not really. Not for me. Okay, so what do we have here? We're going to talk to these people. We came to research a bit. But the gallery region is lovely, isn't it? The best part of all... Uh, uh, the best part of... All had to be enjoying the different toppings uh, on all the curries. Curry's a big hit in Kanto too, you know. True. I'm completely obsessed with Rotom Rally. I can't get enough of it. And well, let's see what is the big jelly police. Hello there. What's this? Did you need something from me? Right. Why don't you go run along now, but come back when you're strong as a champion, would you? Now, this guy serves a purpose right here. I believe if you battle him... He will battle you after you win the, uh, the, the Pokemon League, but what is exactly his uh, his purpose here? Can't... Well, I'm actually not... Yeah, I can't see what his purpose is, but... Yeah, if you come back to him eventually, he'll battle you, and he's going to have some pretty strong Pokemon right there. Now, if you go right here, you will find these two people. Three people, I should say, and go! Oh, I missed again! It's harder than it looks to catch. Hmm, you! You look like you know a proper way to throw a Pokeball. I think she's playing Pokemon Go right there. I'm a planner! My job is to think of ways to play, so I suppose it means playing itself is my job. Hear the background music? Yep, I made it. Well, guess what? These guys are the Game Chart guys, or not the Game Chart guys, but the... Yeah, the, the Game Freak guys that help make this game. Hi, I'm the director. Well, look at you, you're trying to complete the Pokedex, are you? Thanks for that. Keep on searching on new Pokemon to catch. Oh, I know! I've got just the thing to help you catch more and more Pokemon. And here we have a catching charm where this thing right here, holding it says it's to increase the chance of getting a critical catch. Curiosity, the charm doesn't shake much. Come back and tell me when you completed that Pokedex of yours. Okay, alrighty, so we're gonna complete the Pokedex, that is for sure. Trust me, guys, we got a long ways to go in order to complete a Pokedex right here. And then, uh, well, we missed out on a door right here. Yes, we missed out on this door. And if you talk to this guy, my partner is a germaphobe. It's been taking a, it's been taking a shower forever, even though it's a ground type. Huh. Really? Huh. That's kind of odd. Okay, so I think we've completed that part. Now we're going to have to go back to the springs because uh, there is something waiting for us over there, I think. I think. Probably. I don't know. We shall find out. And, well, let's see. We're going to be going straight to the springs right here. And as you can see, bam, it looks majestic AF. And, well, let's see. Who do we need to talk to? That is a scary-ass Pokemon right there. The stones paving the ground are quite cold. Snow piles up on them in no time. And let's see. Oh, look at that. We found ourselves this. The TM-51 Icicle Spear. Another great ice-type move. It launches our spears. It can actually hit you five times in a row if you need to. And, well, let's see. I am still looking for somebody here. I don't think you need to look for anybody. The strongest dar dragon type move is called Draco Meteor. Do you want me to teach that move to someone? No, I do not want to. Yeah, that that comes at a cost. Is that a Persian engraved on the engraved on the, on this wall? It kind of looks like it. And well, the ancient hero's bath. It is said that heroes bathe here to heal and rest. Well, I want to do that, but yeah, there are plenty of people who enjoy Pokemon battles, even if they can't participate in the gym challenge. Actually, there are 
people who don't battle at all, too. So true. Okay, so I think I think I've already done everything I need to do right here, guys. In the next episode, we will be going through the Pokemon Gym. Now, in Sir Chester, Sir Chester's Gym, there are two different types. Obviously, we're playing Pokemon Sword, so we're going to have the Ground-type Gym. In Pokemon Shield, you're going to be having the Ice-type Gym. So, same kind of maze, different kind of gym leader. So, stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we're having a double header. We're going to be exploring the Sir Chester Gym. See you guys.